Hi everyone, Frankie from easypowerwall.com. Today I want to talk about the ATS or automatic transfer switch. This episode is a little bit earlier than expected. I wanted to uh, show it a little bit later in the process, but sadly after five years of usage the switch partially failed, so I'm gonna replace it before I leave on the holiday. So I will show you how it works. I also want to talk about these two uh, units, ZMA90, which register the power usage and also um, are remotely accessible. So another interesting topic today. Enjoy the movie. Recently I received a box from AliExpress. Let's see what's inside. ATS automatic transfer switch. Decent packaging, well done. But this is the, the new one, the new automatic transfer switch. We will install this one in the cabinet. And let's hope it will work for another five years. Or even more. But before connecting it into the cabinet, I will give a small demonstration on how this works. Before we install the ATS, I have installed it here on my desk. And I want to show you how it works. It's just fresh out of the box. The only thing I did is connecting a energy meter to the normal side, which is connected to the socket. And on this side, I have this connector. For now, none of them is connected. First thing I'm going to do is to install and configure the energy meter. I have uh, several of them in use since many years, they never failed me and they're very useful to track your energy consumption not only day by day but also for months and even a uh, year. I'll show you how it works and then uh, if everything works as it should be I will install it in the electrical cabinet. The meter also comes with a switch but I have to figure out if it's uh, in N or R position so once that's done, I will attach it and uh, mount it on the ATS. Let's start with the energy meter. Make sure your phone is connected with a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Then install the application Smart Life or Tuya. Here I'm using the Smart Life application. In the upper right corner, you see the plus sign. Click on that and then select Add Device. Link at the left you can choose Electra and then search for Smart Meter Wi-Fi. In the middle of the screen, yes, that's one. Just click on the icon and then follow the screen. You have to press 5 seconds on the reset button of the device, of the Smart Meter. You will see a blinking LED, a fast blinking LED on the device. And then you can follow the instructions on the screen. Of course, for my convenience, I just removed a part of the screen because I have to enter my password of the Wi-Fi code. And then the smart meter is installed. No rocket science. Very easy. So I just added the Wi-Fi smart meter. As you can see, it only took a few, not even a few minutes. It's done in, uh, in less than a minute. It seems the new model has a slightly modified interface, but I like the design, it looks really nice. So let's connect the power of the other socket and see what happens. As you can see, both lights are activated, normal power, reserve power, that means all lines are hot, 
they're both connected to a mains so we have 220 on every side of the ATS. Next step we will simulate that the power of the normal stops working. So for every reason we have low battery, inverter fails, whatever happens. Now if I switch off the power, if I simulate a power outage, are you sure? Yes. You saw the ATS switch towards reserve power. In my scenario, I have the output of normal and reserve connected to the same fuses. It's just the input that changes. For me, normal is green power, reserve is the grid power. So if for one reason the green power is out of service, the ATS switches to grid power and all appliances keep working. That's very important for me whenever I'm on a business trip or my better half calls me and says something is wrong, I'm not, I'm not uh, really sure, then wherever I am, if, I'm, if I have 3G, 4G, I can easily switch the ATS and move over to reserve. Of course, you have an ATS in the um, Victron gear as well, but for me, I prefer to use this or I have to use this solution because my inverter is installed on a remote location about 100 feet away from the house. So it's very difficult to have a, a decent 220 volt connection in the remote location. All right, let's uh, switch back on the uh, energy meter. So now we're back on the normal power, the green power. I'll switch on the load. It's a small heater, 700 watts, more or less. Let's see what happens. And now you see almost immediately we have an, have an update. Power consumption, 720 watts. It's uh, drawing about 3.15 amps and the voltage drops just below 230 volts. With this meter you have also tracking uh, by day but also by month. So it's very easy to, uh, to track your power consumption. In my setup, I have the uh, smart switch energy meter on the input of the normal power, but also on the grid power. This allows me to uh, track my power consumption and compare it between several seasons. So during the summer, I hardly need the grid, but of course when winter is coming, I have to switch over to grid power and I have less power from the off-grid setup. Let me switch off the loads. It's summertime here, so I don't need the heater. But I just wanted to show you how it works, how easy it is to set up, and how convenient it works together with off-grid and grid power. I think it's a fantastic unit. As you can see, we have the green connector here at the bottom of the ATS. This is to connect, for example, a light bulb. Then you can visualize if you're on green or reserve power. You can have a small green or a small red bulb. And from a distance, you can see if you're on normal or reserve. I'll put a link uh, to, this, to both parts in the description of the video. The price range is about uh, $35-$40 uh, for both units, so all in all pretty cheap hardware. If you have more questions, just uh, drop me a line in the comments and I'll be happy uh, to help you out. Let's um, remove all the wires here and install it in the electrical cabinet. Hi everyone, in the garage today we're gonna swap the new one with the old semi broken ATS. First step you have to do, for safety, we're going to switch off the power of the grid power and of course the green power. You can see it's still uh, in working order. We have the red lights on the uh, automatic transfer switch, they are both lit. So I will first switch off the breaker in the main breaker box and I will switch off the green power.
as you can see right now, both LEDs are off. Now we can safely remove the ATS from the breaker box. While the breaker box is open, I will give a short intro how the system uh, works. We have the two energy meters, left and right. This one is for the green power, comes from the solar shed. This is the grid power from the breaker box in the garage. The green power goes to the N of normal of the ATS. The grid power goes to the reserve side of the ATS. The outgoing connection of the ATS is a common connection. The positive and the ground, line one ground, is connected between reverse and normal. Then the outgoing line one goes to breaker one, interconnected with breaker two, breaker three, and breaker four. And here I have the outgoing circuits towards the outlets in the garage, upstairs, and outdoors for charging the car. So pretty simple basic setup, but it works fine for several years, and I'm very happy with the design. Now let's uh, remove the old ATS. So the interconnection of the ATS out, of course they have to reinstall it afterwards. I was lucky to find the same layout so I don't have to drill new holes into the cabinet. So. Perfect fit. If you reinstall the cables, make sure they're properly installed. I had in the past that the wire was installed behind the screw and it was kind of loose. And I had a bad contact and started to heat up the element. So always check and double check. It's well connected. And while the power is out from the grid, and the green power, I will use the occasion to check all breakers, if the tension on the screws is still okay, if there are no loose contacts. I mentioned this before, the ATS out is interconnected. So I have this bridge connector between out one and out two. So always check and double check. And if you're not sure, make sure it's checked by a qualified electrician. A final round to make sure all screws are tightened. Now I will ask my lovely assistant to switch on the breaker. 
and as you can see, and you maybe heard it, the automatic transfer switch switched to reserve power. We are on the grid now, and now with magic of video editing, I will switch on the green power and we will move towards the normal, the green power. We're on green power now, so everything is fixed. We can close the cabinet. Another job done. We're now on uh, green power, so let me switch off the solar and you see the automatic transfer switch switches the grid, reserve to the grid. Now let me switch on the solar power. Another job done. Now I can go on a trip for a week, two weeks. Everything is managed by this breaker box and the automatic transfer switch. Links to the ATS and the power meter are in the description of the video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. If you want a notification of a new video, hit that uh, subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you soon for the next episode of easypowerwall.com. Bye bye.